Ten years ago, this very day, a puzzling sight in New York Harbor, a giant Rubik's Cube, the world's largest at the time, caught everybody's attention. The blow-up cube was in celebration of the 40th anniversary of the Confound Puzzle, as well as the 70th birthday of Hungarian inventor Ernol Rubik, widely known for creating the Rubik's Cube. Did you know that? I didn't either. That was a decade ago. Fast forward to now and the largest speed cubing event in North America, the Rubik's WCA North American Championship. It's taking place in Minneapolis from July 18th until the 21st. And by coincidence, joining us now is more one of the, one of the competitors in that contest, speed cuber Timmy Wynn. And Timmy, thank you for joining us. Look how fast you are. That's amazing. Thanks for having me. Yeah, What's now we, you know, I see your age now. I can tell that you're not you're not very old. You're pretty young. Can old people do this? Yes, yes. Everyone from all ages come come get together and compete. Okay, so how did you get into cubing? Tell us exactly what it is when I say, "Hey, are you a cuber?" <laughs> so cubing is basically. So I got into cubing because I saw a magician do it in one second on America's Got Talent. In one and second, that inspired me to. Yeah, it was a magic trick. Yeah. It was a magic trick. Right. <laughs> and then that inspired me like, hey, I want to try to solve a cube because I always wanted to solve one. So it took me two days to solve a cube and an additional three days to memorize the step. Wow. That was a five day process in total. So when someone says, are you a cuber? That means like you take the time and just play with the cube fidgeting. It doesn't matter about speed. It could be just you like collecting puzzles. It could be you solving fun puzzles for fun. Yeah, um, there's so many so, different types of puzzles. So, so you did it pretty quickly, it. And, it, and you tried it, and a couple of days later, you, you managed it. When did you actually decide to to become a competitor? Oh, it was just like natural. It was like, hey, I did it in like two minutes, and then hey, two, two minutes became one minute, one minute became thirty seconds, thirty became like ten, ten to like try to go for seven. So it's just been very natural. Yeah. How process. many how many con competitions have you won, if any? Um, I've won like six or five. Six or five? Yeah, competition. Uh, say six then, because that's what am I going to do? I can't look it up right now. But I, okay, so 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 it does something, right? I mean, you get it, it turns you on a little bit in terms of your brain, right? Yeah, yeah, it makes you active, and but the best part is meeting like different people, like from yeah. around states, like especially North, North American championships. Like there's people across different countries getting together in just one place, and then we just get to connect and meet so many different variety of people from different cultures. Okay, how long will it take to solve if I ask you to solve one right now? Could you do it now, and how long would it take? Uh, yeah, a couple of seconds, yeah. You okay, can let me, let's, me right look, now. let's look at let it. Let me know. Go ahead. All right. Do you want silence? That's a yes. I'm looking like at five or six seconds is what you did, I think. That's pretty amazing. That is just amazing. Yeah, eight. <laughs> so what, is this, what does this do for you? I mean, what, what thrill do you get out of that? Well, it's just really fun to fidget. And this, the constant, like, it's the goal of constantly learning new things. Like, there's so much things that you can learn from this, like a new algorithm, a new technique from someone, um, a new way of solving. And there's also there's so many variety of puzzles that, like, Rubik's has produced that just keeps making it fun. How could you? How hard would it be to to, to you know help and teach someone like me or, or, our stage manager, for instance? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 everyone I've taught so far, like in person, the, under an hour, like hour max, like hour thirty max. So it's just all about patience and your mindset of like com completing the cube. And will it, will it really catch up? You know, catch on and really become something bigger than it is now. I think so, yeah. Okay. Like, you can be a speed cuber one day, too. I appreciate that. Timmy Wynn, good luck to you, and thank you for coming on uh, Eyewitness News and, and telling right, us you. what this was about. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. You're me. Take care.